hello guys welcome back to our channel chandra awesome uh, today i'm going to teach you about the important tool which is very useful in the part studio for us that is called transform feature tool uh, uh, what is the use of this tool means you can do certain operations like um, moving the parts from one place to another place like simply to say one position to another position in which way you want so i'm going to teach you about this uh, transform feature uh, here you can see at the top toolbar while selecting the transform feature you can see it have seven number of features inside the transform again so first of all we we will go one by one okay so here uh, okay mm. first of all here you can see i have, I have drawn some parts uh, looks like a helmet so for this uh, i want to move this part to certain uh, in direction in what way i want so here you can see translate by line which means it will translate to along the direction of the line and the length of the line so uh, here it is asking the entities to transform which we need to select the part and select this part and it asking line or points which means you can select line or two points of a line let's see here i am going to select this already which i drawn line so uh, while i am selecting this look the part moves to this uh, certain direction from its edge if you want to see how much uh, it uh, moved from this you can give direction to that to it okay in this uh, and while i am editing this tool again here uh, we use the, we use so the as a line here or else you can use points also like here see we have i am setting the two points of the line one and two so the result will be same either the line or the two points of line it will move in the particular direction of the uh, line here you can also change the which direction it will move to see if i change the direction to this side it's moving right side if i tap on this opposite direction it moves to the left side like this the part will we can move using the line okay and the another one is that is a portrait line you can see translate by distance which means you can translate the move the part in any direction in which way you want by giving the uh, direction length here here you can see uh, we need to give direction also in which direction it will move and we also give distance which means translate by distance so uh, for the direction i'm selecting any entity like i'm selecting the plane okay i'm selecting the front plane so see while i'm selecting the front plane it will it is moving only parallel to the particular plane only like i'm selecting the front plane which means it is moving to the parallel either of the direction see you can also select the direction and here you can give the di uh, direction length distance length so here is the i'm giving 10 inches see it moving 10 inches from its position in this way you can use the translate by distance uh, feature in this the transform and another one we have the translate by x y z directions which means uh, here we can get access like we can move in any direction you want as per giving the values to the every axis like x y z axis there right so here i am pull here you can see the arrow marks which you want to pull and you can also the plane marks uh, you can also move using the planes also while while you will move uh, the 
the distance how much you move it will be recorded in this pop up bar you can see how much a distance i moved like this like in the same assembly for for x distance i am taking 10 inch and for y direction i am giving 5 inch and for z direction i am giving 2 inch so it exactly moves to the direction to the particular to the particular position at what uh, distances i gave in the x transit by x y z directions and another feature guys you can also do the copy the part instead if you want to duplicate the part means you can also do here by you can see by clicking the copy part tick mark the original body will be there where the copy part only will move to the uh, certain position in which way by the entities you have given okay yeah for this for now i am not copying the part for your clarification i am inserting this like see so this is how we can use the translate by xyz direction and and there we have what translate by mate connectors it means uh, uh, we know if we know about the assembly section we can know about mate connectors mate connectors is nothing but you can see i will show you this is the helmet this is the mirror for the uh, for what i did so i want to move this mirror to this helmet position so i need to select from which mate to to the which mate so from i want to move from this mate right so i am selecting see i am selecting the this corner mate and i want to move this right for this position right and for that i am selecting this the exact position where it, where it will similar to that i am selecting this mate uh sorry uh, i had selected the wrong part here right you can see wait i'm changing the part now i'm selecting this part see uh the part is moved but the direction or position of the part is not wrong so for this you can see this is a axis direction bar and also rotate bar so i'm changing this flipper axis and see the part is moved to the x direction here you can also rotate the part for the part to get the desired position in this way by using mate connector part connecting tool you can move this part it is mostly useful for the assembly design for without getting confusion in my push and and the one we have rotate so okay if you if you want to rotate the part we need one direct axis central axis right because we need center for rotating in anything so here um i am selecting this part and we need to rotate means need axis so i am selecting this uh, line as example as the axis if i select this line the part will rotate see the part is started moving here you can also we have arrow mark which you can also manually rotate the part or else here you can give the value where it will move to the exact position exact angle what you have given in the in the same way in every feature you can copy the part like see if you want in this way we can rotate the part in the past studio using the transform rotate and the next one is copy in place which means the part is going to be copied in the place itself as you can see the here parts section in the in this part section window i am deselecting the part like now we have how many parts one two three parts 
If I start the part, see the extra part has been added, which means the part is copied in the place itself. Uh, for confirmation, I will show you. I am click on the tick mark. Here you can see the half what part is formed. I am just adding the second part, third part, which I have used. And see, this is the fourth part. So while selecting, you can see the highlighting fourth part. See, this is the fourth part. And if I deselect this, and the third part is like this you can copy the parts parts in this in the same position using the copy in place feature tool and the last but not least which is called scale do you know scale or operation guys mm. if you know scale operation you will understand uh, scaling means it is we are making we are changing the whole area of the part to the required size in what required size we want to the part according to the design so by using scale we can enlarge and also decrease the size of the part uh, by giving it the certain scale ratio here see uh, here I see a select the part the store part and it is saying see if you want to scale uniformly it will unif uh, it will transform uniformly in the particular direction okay first of all and uh, what the entity is asking like point or mate connector you know mate connector uh, as which I shown you in the in this while explaining about the transform by mid connector like that's like if you if you select any point and mid connector it will transform um, and transform uniformly at what given ratio we have given for example right now wait I'm selecting um, selecting some each point for example this I'm selecting this this edge point so right now we didn't have any changes because we have given the scale ratio 1 which means the original scale only if I increase to the 2 and you enter see the part size becomes 2 times 2 times of its original size you can also see the differentiation by copying the part for itself see this is the original size and this is the scale size which you have given as per the ratio so I am deciding the copy part if you want to decrease that's also will happen for the default value it is 1 I want to reduce this size so, uh, for that I need to give the less value which means I give the 0.5 inch see the body is reduced to the 0.5 times of its original size like this way you can increase or decrease the body size using the scale tool in the future built in the transform operation so here we also have another mark which is scale uniform rate, which means the part is going to transform in uniform way if you don't want to transform uniform way click on this here it is asking the scale value and which direction uh, at uh, which direction of the part of the body you want that particular size right for example right now i am giving two to the x direction and y in three and z in four See, the part is going to be trans scale in this way at, as per the given scale ratios we have given in the particular direction. Uh, for x direction, I give I want to two times of the size. In 
in y i want three times in z direction i want four times in this way the body is transformed its size as per the given ratios if you want the uniform body means you can click on this uh, tick mark the body is transformed in uniform way like this uh, if you want to, in every part you can accept in copy in place switch tool you can in every transform operation you can copy the part if, as per your want this is how to use the transform tool in the on chair part studio i hope you understand my teaching about the on chair uh, on chair transform tool uh, this type of tool you can use in any cat software the operation will be same but the terminology is only different i hope you understand this tutorial thank you guys uh, don't mind about this is uh, too much long video it is need that's why i made a long video if you like our content please do like and subscribe